Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to share with you a scripture. Now, before I get into it, I want to say this. We have to be aware that we're entering into, or we're already in, another season of deaths. And you know how they seem to happen in cycles. Multiple deaths in one month's time, or a month and a half or maybe even two months. Well, this is what I want to caution you. Watch what you say to people. Watch how you respond. Watch your attitude. Because once those words are out, you cannot pull them back in. You've ever seen an anteater, the way their tongue stretches out and catches a bug and it pulls it back in? Well, that's not the way words work. Our words will go out that far. They'll do a whole lot more damage. And when we try to pull it back in because somebody's died or has has gotten sickly ill, we can't pull it back in. It's a done deal. So, I'm going to share this scripture with you. James chapter 3, verses 8, 9, and 10. That's it. Followed by Pat's two cents. All right, you ready? But the tongue can no man tame. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. Therewith bless we God, even the Father, and therewith curse we men, and which are made after the similitude of God. Out of the same mouth proceedeth blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. They shouldn't be. That's two cents. All right. So what we have to think about is, you know, think before you speak. A lot of times we react, especially if we tend to be the reactionary type. We have so much to say. We don't like the way somebody did something, said something, whatever. And we, it is our Die hard duty to get them told. So we open wide the mouth and insert foot. And we do much damage. Then when we get a call. Daddy's dead. Mama just died. Your brother got run over by a car. And you remember what you just said to them? It eats at you. It brings on a guilt trip that is so painful. And even though your words are no longer hurting them, now it tortures and torments you just knowing that you allowed those words to come out of your mouth. So rather than go through that, there's a scripture in, there's a scripture that says, forsake wrath. I believe it's Psalms 37. I'm not sure. But forsake wrath. Don't give place to it. Don't be so quick to to let it air its dirty laundry through you at someone else's expense. Be careful about that. Because words can kill. They can do much damage. They could tear at a heart so badly, so deeply, that even the body responds with heart attacks and strokes and all kind of craziness that goes off in the body. Because words have power. Be careful what you say to someone you love. Please be careful. These are the seasons where we have to really be mindful of what comes out of our mouths because we don't know if this is going to be the last day, if this is going to be the last encounter. And when they draw their last breath, will your words be on their conscience? Will their your words be on their heart? Yeah, think about it. You know, we get angry and then we forget about it. But those words go with people sometimes to their graves. So let's try to be very dainty and 
diplomatic and wise. You understand what I'm saying? Communicate for the sake of understanding, not for the sake of, of uh, you know, you got me, I'm going to get you back. You know, retaliation, uh -uh, don't even go there. Don't say anything that you regret if the person dies. Now, some of you won't regret it because you want the person to die. That's another video for another time, and it deals with forgiveness, which is a commandment of God. But we won't go there right now. I just put it out there. As they say, just saying. So think about that and watch your tongue. Amen.